Sharon Horton, you co-created Bad Sisters about the Garvey sisters' attempts to eliminate uh, their sister's abusive husband um, by any means necessary. Uh, it's based on a Belgian series. Uh, what did you think about that series when you first saw it? Oh, I, I loved it very much. Um, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a completely different kind of show, um, but I, I loved the premise. I thought it was just inherently incredibly funny. And I, I love the sisters. The, the, the five actresses who played the sisters in the original are phenomenal. And, and um, uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was a big fan. I mean, I, I, I certainly wasn't, you know, in the market for writing a, a thriller or, or even doing an hour long drama. I'd never done anything like that before, but um, I watched the pilot episode and, and I, I was in because I, I just thought I, I knew how to, you know, do my version of that story. I kind of knew immediately what I would like to do. And uh, what were some of the changes you made to the story and the characters to fit into its new uh, Irish milieu? Um, well, um, I mean, just even setting it in Ireland sort of um, changed it um, uh, immediately. Um, I think fundamentally, we just made it less broad. You know, we sort of raised the emotional stakes and and sort of made it less heightened. Um, in the original, there was all sorts of um, crazy goings on. <laughs> you know, there was uh, there was Chinese mafia and um, there was hitmen and and people ended up in um, dog canning factories. Um, there was a lot more murders and uh, it was just a lot more bonkers. And uh, I mean, it was part of its charm, but. Um, I felt like I wanted to uh, lower the the murder rate and sort of up the um, the emotional damage. You know, like what would really happen um, to a bunch of sisters if if they had to do something like this, and how would it Im impact on them personally, and how would it affect their relationships, and 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 to sort of um, you know for the collateral damage to not necessarily be a, a pile up of bodies, but to their relationships and and to themselves and uh um yeah so that 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 would be the the main difference and then Ireland kind of changed everything really it just kind of gave it a um um a whole different I know it's boring everyone says it but a different character you know it it's um Ireland sort of changed a lot over the years and you know it's it's become um a politically very progressive country but you know religion still plays a factor there and um as it does everywhere but you know with with the John Paul character being um you know conservative and and um you know very religious but also an outsider it's very hard to break into Ireland um as my husband found out um so <laughs> that that sort of you know changed everything as well um, and, and the John Paul character is one of the most striking things about the show. Uh, it's it's the, a portrait of spousal abuse that's that's nuanced and subtle and, and the way he does it is very insidious. Uh, what was it like writing uh, that character? And, and, you know, because, you know, the whole series revolves around both the audience and the characters wanting him dead. Um, yeah, I mean, it was kind of the most fun and, and the scariest, you know, because it's um, it, it's fun to write a villain, as it turns out. Um, uh, you can really go for it. <laughs> but at the same time, it was keeping it sort of um, as, I mean, being respectful of the situation. You know, we didn't want to get laughs out of domestic abuse. We wanted to represent what it really is to be in a relationship like that and and you know we were um depicting a, a kind of abuse I hadn't sort of seen before on you know um that was a kind of coercive control and financial abuse and emotional um uh, abuse and and isolating someone and and so all those things felt very nuanced and quite um delicate and yet we had this big kind of character so you know, it was in the writing, but also um, in 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 the playing of it. You know, he's he's um he's a skilled comedian, but a really uh, fantastic dramatic dramatic actor as well. And uh, 
So it's just walking a bit of a tightrope, really. But I, I feel like we were sort of doing that throughout because, um, you know, we we, we had we had to balance um, comedy with drama, like really silly, stupid comedy with really brutal um, drama. It, it was it was um, it was the the trickiest part of it, and um, again, that was just something we we had to keep an eye on throughout, you know, in in the writing and and in filming, and then in the edit afterwards, just to make sure that we got the the balance right. Was it also, uh, you know, a challenge to uh, keep, you know, sort of all of your story elements straight when you're, you know, going back and forth between so many different characters, and also you have two timelines. Like, did you maybe write the timeline separately and merge them together, or like, how how um, did that process work? Well, actually, um, Marlon, who's the creator of the original, she did suggest that, you know, um, actually she kind of wrote them in the order of of events, sort of thing. But I couldn't really do that, and. I wasn't able to crib as much from the original as I would have liked because we took out so much um, story and put in um, uh, so much of our own. So it was just a real pain. <laughs> it was just, uh, I found it really hard actually. And in fact, we sort of, a lot of what we wrote, there is multiple um, characters. It's a big ensemble. And, you know, a lot of what we wrote didn't, always end up making it in because we kind of you sort of realize you know in the later stages of writing but also in the edit how much you want to stay focused on the thriller or how much you know you want to just focus on on one sister per episode so you know a lot of uh more a, a lot of the domestic detail kind of got cut but it felt you know it felt okay to do that um you know, we had a device that allowed us to go back and forth in time that was incredibly helpful. But even so, it was the biggest um, thing in the writer's room that someone would suggest a, a story beat. And we go, we were like, no, that's that's in the past. You know, we were always in the wrong timeline. We were always suggesting situations that could never have happened because someone was either dead or, you know, wasn't around then. So uh, <laughs> it kept tripping us up. But um but it was a very fun device as well. It was it was nice to be able to, you, you know, um, inform each of the um, each of the timelines. Uh, and just in that first episode, uh, you know, the prick uh, for which you are nominated for uh, for best episodic drama at the Writers Guild Awards, in addition to the new series award, uh, there's so much going on in that just that first episode. You have to introduce so much. Uh, like what what what. What kind of challenge was that to, uh, you know, pack that many details uh, into into just one hour? It was, um, it was a huge cha challenge, and it's the episode that changed the most, and the episode that we spent the most time on. Um, we had a completely different opening originally before we sort of realized that, you know, we know these sisters and no one else does. I mean, no one even knows their sisters. You know, when you kind of come to to an episode, first of all, you're like, who are these people? Um, so, you know, it was kind of, it was that thing of wanting to um, direct the audience a little whilst not, you know, insulting their intelligence. Um, you know, um, we're back and forth in the past and the, the future as well almost immediately and uh I think it was just um it was really the first 10 minutes that that were the thing you know just making sure an audience wasn't asking too many questions that you know that we were making them we really wanted to entertain the audience we 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 knew that the, the series was going to be hard going in places and and you know even in that first episode there was going to be some um pretty brutal stuff so we wanted to make sure that we allowed the audience to figure out what was going on who were all these women and uh and then sort of you know kickstart the story of of of, of how they got there you know and what happened in the past and uh yeah it was you know we, we probably spent more on on that first episode than we did on you know the next four combined but um it's tricky you know well, I want to uh, congratulate you on your work on that episode and being nominated for that specifically, all the work that went into it, uh, uh, you know, your two Writers Guild Award nominations. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you about it. Thank you very much.